All right, so I just woken up, and as I woken up, I didn't know if you still got it, but uh, there was this thing that popped up for this mission that said, wait for the for the master to work on the Moldavite. So now the Moldavite is ready, I just need to go there and actually get it. So you didn't lost much in between in between episodes. Uh, I went around. I sold some stuff. I got a lot of money. I'll show you in a bit. I got a load of money. Oh, there he goes again. Jesus Christ! I need to go return this horse. Uh, so yeah, I got a load of money, and uh, I got a little less encumbered. Not by a lot. But a little. So, and I'm hungry again. No problem with that. Oh, here we go. Oh, these stairs, man. Okay, here we are. Okay. Give me the crown. What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Thank you. Here you have it. Thank the Lord. Thanks a lot. It wouldn't be the same without it. May the Lord watch over you. Thank God, Jesus Christ, I can get out of this accursed town. Okay, so, I have 613.8 Gershon, and I went from 100 and something carry weight to 89 only. I know, I know, I still have a lot of things, but uh, yes, it is as it is. I still have a lot. The armor itself weighs quite a bit. Crown with Moldavite. Okay, great. Now, I said I was gonna go to Tolmberg and return the horse. And go to... back to Rete for the... for the tournament. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight for Rete. So, can I... No, I don't, I don't think I can put up a marker and then travel to the marker, no. I can, however, travel to the Rete upper gate, so that's what I'm gonna do. You're too overloaded to fast travel. Of course I can't fast travel, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Okay, I can try and see if the blacksmith has more money. Ah, here we go, Jesus Christ. I just slept, and I, now I already have to go to the bloody... Uh, okay, that's probably enough. Because there's a blacksmith here, that's where I sold all my stuff. He's over there, in that little house. I don't know if he's in the house already. And I don't know how fast they regain their money. I guess we'll see. Okay. Good day to you. What do you need? Oh, okay. He's wealthy again, so he can take my stuff. Okay, what do I want to sell? Not really a lot that I, I want to sell these. So at the basket, it's still not enough. Ugh. I know what I needed to sell. I need to sell these, but I can't just sell these. This is too good. Okay. Just, it, it, it's, it's a necessary evil. But it's so good, look at that! Uh. Okay, uh, remove it. And, and close the deal. Okay, can I? I am hungry already, Jesus Christ. You, sir, are a needy bugger. You are a needy bugger, sir. 
Can I... Is there any... No, what is this perk about? Okay, no grave digger, no clinch master, mule. Oh, I need level four strength, and my strength is only level three. Ah, okay, so I have. Increases the time you can do without sleep. Your energy level falls one quarter more slowly. I think this is a good one. I'm gonna learn this one. Okay, Insomniac. Penalties on stats following the release of the jail. Okay, so I have nothing else that can be used here. Featherweight, no. Mm. And there's nothing real. Oh, I have a perk in lock picking. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's not really anything that useful. Tell. Nice. Daring Debonair. Okay. Okay, so I can't increase my... Okay, I'm gonna have to sell it, otherwise... Otherwise there's no point in, in keep going, so I'll have to sell it. Oop. I'll have to sell it, just... Just add the basket and close the deal. Ah, goodbye, sweet prince. I don't do combat that often anyway, so it's it's okay. Okay, map. We are gonna go to Rete. We'll see. Hopefully, I'm not stopped in the way there. On the way there. Because I know it can happen. So. Also, when I get to Rete after the archery. Uh, after the archery thing. I wish you could just stop. Oh. Wait, what? Oh god, maybe they are stopping me because I'm a wanted criminal here. No, not. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. I stopped because I arrived at my destination. <laughs> okay. What happened? Oh, God. Okay. I really hope you don't remember me. What do you want? I want the keg of wine. There's a contest happening, and that the prize is a keg of fine wine. <laughs> That's true. I bought the finest wines to be had in the province. I'd like to take part. Do you know the rules? I don't know them. You shoot 7, 13, or 21 arrows, depending on who you're shooting against. The straw surround is worth one point, the white ring two, and the bullseye three. Whoever finishes shooting first gets three extra points. The round ends when everyone has finished shooting, and whoever has the most points wins. It's the custom to win. Oh, God. To make it more interesting, see? The better archers you shoot against, the higher the stakes. All right, that seems straightforward. Just one more thing. Don't leave while the contest is underway, and never aim or shoot at anything but the target. Otherwise, you're out. Got it? Got it. Splendid. Here's some arrows. I'm done. You. But you can use your own if you want. 
Meanwhile, I'll round up the competition. No, no, no competition, please. I can fail against myself. That's not a problem. Wait, what? How does one... How does one bow? Wait, what? My god, how? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I suck at this game. God, I don't even have... I don't even have an archery tutorial yet. Holy hell. Okay, so... Why are you even... Don't you have any strength behind that? Okay, maybe it's the bow I have. That requires a lot. Oh, okay, that explains a lot. Jesus Christ. That explains a lot. I have not this I do not have the strength to to put up on this. Oh god. Yeah, this this is embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, I got three points because I finished first. Oh god, this is so embarrassing. Get the wine some other way. Okay. So who won? God be with you, good sir. Okay, why? Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. I can't wait to drink to it. Yes. No. Um, on the subject of drinking, I'm guessing you prefer beer to wine. <laughs> no, not really. I could drink beer in any tavern, but there's no wine as good as this one. It's just that the wine you won, I need it. Not a chance. I won it fairly. Come on, it's Lady Stephanie. You don't want to disappoint Lady Stephanie of Talmberg and her courier, do you? Lady Stephanie, you say? I've always liked their ladyship. See? You know what then? Take the keg. And please give her my respectful greetings. Sure will. Thank you so much. Oh, thank goodness this worked. God damn it. Thank goodness. You, sir, you are the MVP. Look out. Old Rush. Old Rush right, right here is the MVP. So we got everything. So boy. Want me to Bloody sing? Bloody hell, no he doesn't want you to sing. You're definitely the first horse I've ever serenaded. Two horses come Sorry, Ra. You are the MVP though. The apple tree there. I'm gonna go to Oh shut up, Henry. I'm gonna go to Teresa and ask her about Fritz and uh, the other guy. See if she has work for them. <coughs> then we go to Tolmberg and we'll end there the the episode. Or maybe not end there, but you know, you know what you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, but yeah. This bow really you know, maybe I can save it on Peshek's house. Because that's a safe house for me. And the chest remains there. I can always come back for it. When I actually have the strength and the, the stamina needed for it. Because right now I really don't have the necessary... The necessary... 
things for it, so I might as well do something to wait to lighten my load. Hello, Teresa. So what are we to do with you, Henry? Love me, feed me, never abandon me. <laughs> Matthew and Fritz and their regards. They survived. My God, I'm glad. They helped me out a lot. And where did you see them? In Sassau. I bumped into them in front of the tavern. Where else? And how are they doing? Not so good. They're doing fine. The monks brought them back to health. But they don't have work and they're in debt. You wouldn't happen to know of any jobs going for two lazy carpenters. Not here. And I think it will be the same in all of Ratai. It's overcrowded with mm, refugees yeah. and they're all looking for work. Oh, that's bad. Those two need work badly to keep them out of mischief. You know what they're like. I do indeed. Try the mills in the smaller hamlets. The miller in Ledechko is old. Maybe he could use some strong hands. Ledechko. Nice. All right. Thank you. Oh. Fancy a little walk. Oh, Henry. What are you up to? How would you like to, um, I don't know, uh, come for a walk? Smooth. Oh, I'd like that very much, but I can't right now, Hal. Give me some time to settle in, will you? If that's what you want. It's not you, Hal. It's just this isn't a good time. Ouch. Understandably, though, Master Henry, I'll have you know. Okay, so let me equip that and I'm gonna save it in the chest right here all next to my stuff so there will be three more out of my load okay so nothing else needs any specific thingamabobs so all right she mentioned Let's go find work for Matthew and Fritz. Okay, I'm not gonna go there right away. I'm really gonna go back to Thalmberg and be done with that. Be done with this quest. So I'm really gonna fast travel because there's no point in going all the way there <coughs> just yet because. The reason I, I don't really like to use fast travel, but the reason I'm doing so is because if I don't, I'll lose a lot of time in the journey and we'll never get anything done. Next time, I'm going to finish in Tomberg. I'm going to get the mission, I'm going to talk to Lady Stephanie, and, and we're going to get done. And then, next episode, when we decide, while we decide what we're going to do, I'll walk. Next session, it's going to be a walking session. I'm going to go try to find the job for Fritz and the other guy, and then we'll see. All right. Yes. Where do you want me to put it? Could do with a bite to eat. Ah, okay. Just like like that. All right. Game saved. Now I just go up to her and get, give her the, the rest, the wine and the... Uh... She's on a different place. Not here. Maybe she's here. Yes, she is. Welcome, Henry. I'm glad you're here. Hello, my lady. The Lord save you. What do you need? I brought the Rhone. Brought the Rhone, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. No. Nothing serious. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learnt a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. <laughs> I sang to a horse. Quite no, a lot. Then you'll have to sing something to me, too. Oh, God. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead. Sing. <clears throat> um, 
Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May. They graze in the shade of the apple tree there. Uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down. Such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So, what's next? It's the wine. I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. I guess I... Let's just say that when I got to the merchant, my task had only just begun. But you were able to handle it. Thank you so much, Henry. Okay. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come on, Henry. Henry. You no are. need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me. As well as your company. Uh -huh. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But... But I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. Aww. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, wink, wink. won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn yeah. you back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. Ho, ho, ho. All <laughs> right. Goodbye. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. <laughs> Ready? What are those pants? Oh, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children. No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Called it. Oh, forgive me, my lady. I, I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. I so knew this was going to happen. Well. You've reached a new level in vitality. <laughs> Oof. Oh my. Dear Lord. Oh, what have we done? <laughs> Oof. Alright. So I'm dressed up. Where's our shirt? From shirt from Stephanie okay it will give me some things but will it replace 
Okay, my visibility and my conspicuousness is on 49 and my noise on 27. So everything will go up just because of this shit. Hmm. How is this simple? Sh I mean, the noise I can imagine. It's something that you don't even see from underneath. And the charisma really isn't that worth it, I think. And my charisma is at, what, six? Okay, my charisma is at eight, I think. I, it's either nine or eight, I can't really see. Okay. Anyway, whew, this this was eventful. There's even that lion thing on the bottom. I don't even know <laughs> what's that supposed to mean. <laughs> Holy heck! I don't even know. I'll have to. I'll have to. The Lords of Tumburg. Okay. I was expecting to see an entry on on Lady Stephanie, but not quite, I guess. So let's just go down. Yes, go go down. And whew, this this was eventful. This is Robard's Oars, Divish's Oars, and someone else's Oars. So I have no horse now, and that is not good. Just before we finish, are you by chance a, whole, uh, a horse trader? A stable master. You are a stable master, but I can't speak with you. So, never mind. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this, this was a good episode. This was a good episode. But, to be honest, all of us picked up on Lady Stephanie the moment she decided to be so kind to us. Oh, that long ago evening here in in the Tomberg quarters. This was our first quarters, and we can still sleep and save here, which I think I'll do. I'll do it, and then I'll end the episode. So. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please do leave your opinions in the comment section down below. I haven't said this yet in today's section session. So let's do that. Please do let me know if you're enjoying this video and this series in general. I am really, really enjoying this game. I mean, the combat is a little bit wonky. The riding, the archery. Then again, I was trying to use an, a bow that was not exactly fit for me. So, yeah. We'll see where this game takes us next. The world is our oyster. We have some missions. Next time I'll do this one. Find work for Matthew and Fritz. I think it's one of the few that I have active. It's a side quest that I have active. So, I will try and do this one. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll just go from Tolmberg to there on foot and I'll make this mission the objective of the next session. Today's objective started by being uh, Thicker Steves and I don't think I'll do this for a very very long time because pickpocket is not worth it unless I really figure out how it works I will not use pickpocket ever again so Lockpicking will have to be my go-to. And of course, before I can even think about pickpocket, about lockpicking, I need to get better at it. So I'll go to Matthew and Fritz. I'll have to go on. I have to go by foot, so it'll take longer, much, much longer. But hey, it'll be fun. It'll be an adventure. Next session, our job will be to find the. Our job will be to find a job for our friends. So I'll see you guys then. Bye bye and good day.